Hi guys and welcome to WBC Games. Today it is Queen's Park Rangers career mode episode 4. Today we are doing our match with Tottenham away. Now we should discuss the difficulty. People think my win over Hull City last time was too easy. But against top 6 sides, so Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City, Man United, Liverpool and Tottenham, maybe Everton, it will be world class difficulty just to make it realistic and fair so we're still on the search at the transfer window but we'll look into that later so we've got this big game away at Tottenham with a difficulty set higher you do realize I could get absolutely mauled by Tottenham they've got so much pace but hey ho we're going for it we're gonna get stuck in and we're going to win I'm telling you so, moving on, here we go. World class difficulties you can see in the top of your screen. Away at White Hart Lane, there's the team. Vargas and Austin, Podolski. You know, it's a good team. I'm happy with this team. So, let's go. Let's do this. Let's win. So, here we go. And pretty much Tottenham made a really good start. We're talking first few minutes. Get the cross in. Look at that cheese, man. Look at that cheese. How easy is it? 1-0 to Tottenham, four minutes in. And I'm thinking, actual... What the hell? So there we go forward with Terraps. Plays it to Vargas. Uh, and Charlie Austin's on side. And Charlie Austin! And Charlie Austin! Goal! Queen's Park Rangers and Charlie Austin scores again. In form and on fire, Charlie Austin. 1-1 at White Hart Lane. Nah. So, and then pretty much out of nothing, Tottenham start attacking. Just, you know, we're thinking we've held the fort and they hit the bar and they miss. They miss. And I'm thinking, whew, sigh of relief because that could have gone really badly. And then right before half time again, defending here, trying to keep it out. And then they just they pass it around so well. Little turns, little passes. Great finish. 2-1 Tottenham. Oh dear. Indeed. So, we've got to the end of the game now. And, you know, we're defending for the whole second half, really. And then, boom. Out of nothing. Bend it in corner. So, transfer offer here for Doherty. But we've sold Bruno Andrade. Getting a bit more money in. So, Doherty, Dundee. Yeah, let him go. Be done with that. Because, at the end of the day, we don't need these youngsters. We are looking to sell a lot of the youngsters. Now, we still in the market. And we're still in the market for a left-back. So, this deal here for Rob Green could be good, but he's been doing really well recently. And I probably, probably, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to sell him. Simply because he's been in goal. He's in good form, as you can see. Doing well. And Doherty's now gone. So we're making a bit more money just to add to the coffers. Now, if we look at the left backs. Now, Oscar Vendit there. So Ricardo Rodriguez, we already looked at. David Albert, seriously, the realism for the scouting is poor. And it's Oscar Vendit. Some okay stats. Put in an inquiry. See what happens. Alright, so Gibbons to Dagenham and Redbridge. Yep. L happy to have that happen. Don't need him around. Another youngster that's just taking up wages. And we've got that Sunderland game coming up before deadline day. Right, so Gibbons is gone. Oscar Vendit, 4.2 million. I just noticed that. 4.2 million here for Oscar Vendit. Right, we'll negotiate this. We'll negotiate down... To three, yeah, we'll go three million. Three million pounds, I think it's a decent deal. And we'll get a left back in, and it will be awesome, hopefully. Even though we don't know how good he is, you know, <laughs> you got to think about these things, eh? And they've accepted, so we can actually go ahead and sign him. And for some odd reason, we've got to change the finances because I didn't think that through. We had nine grand of wages. Bloody smart of me, isn't it? But hey ho, we'll go back, we'll get this deal done. So, yeah, he wants 40 grand, two years. Should we specify the role or not? I can't decide what role to give him, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we'll go important, because he'll start games, so... But he's not going to be amazing. So, gone with the important first team player, and we'll get him in, and that'll be our transfer window done. So, we've got Sunderland next, and he's declined the offer. What the hell? How have you declined the offer? Seriously? I've offered you the chance to play in the Premier League. And you and you want to stay at your club? I stick you. I don't want you now. Completely don't want you. Absolute idiot. Right. So 
we're going into this game with Sunderland soon. But we need a left back. So what about this guy? That guy at the top there. I can't pronounce his name. Decent stats though. That's pace is decent. Putting in an inquiry. Again, the realism. He cannot die Marcelo. So we're going to go into this game with Sunderland. We're at home. We're going to go with an unchanged side again. They've been doing really well with Sandro, Durant, Podolski and Campbell. And Traore playing this ball into Austin. And Charlie Austin. Goal! Queen's Park Rangers. Charlie Austin scores again. He is on fire, isn't he? And then, Charlie Austin, look at the body strength here. You just can't shake him off the ball. And then, clear foul, isn't it? Yep, clear foul. Free kick. And he's down. And he's injured. Just exactly what we need right now is the player on form injured. So Vargas, and Vargas makes the turn, and Vargas scores. It's 2-0, Queen's Park Rangers, and Eduardo Vargas with the goal. He's on form as well. It's his first goal, but he's been doing really well. And we gave away a penalty. I don't know how this happened, but Corker gets the yellow card. And I'm, and I'm, I'm raging. I'm raging at this time. It's like, what are you doing? And then they're going for the penalty. And now, okay, we're going to do the Matador, okay? Should we do the Matador? We'll do the Matador. Then we'll go bottom right. So, the bottom right of your screen, that is where he'll go. Surely. Boom. Did it. Knew that would happen. Yes, it's not because I'm over-commentating it. It's because that happened at the time in the live com. Yeah, I'm not just being a smart ass. Maybe I am. But, hey, hey, I did genuinely call that. I'm just going to put that out there. And then, they've got a nice tactic. And then... It's terrible defending. Look, they just have all that space. Goal. Goal, Sunderland. 2-1. And I'm thinking, I've saved that penalty and done amazing. And then, just poor. Just just poor defending again. So, here we are. Transfer deadline day. We need something. And it's eight weeks. <laughs> eight weeks of Charlie Austin out. Bobby Zamora is our next best striker. We might well end up going for a striker in this window instead of a left back. Bloody well, hope not, because we really need a left back. We just can't play Traore, though. Although he did do well in the last game. But it just can't happen. I'm just looking there. Traore, again, he just looks like the weak link. And we need something. We've got to get someone in. So, we'll have a look. So, I'm thinking, where... So, we'll look on loan. Is there any good left backs available on loan? On loan. We'll go La Liga. Liga BBV, yeah? And then that lad, not bad, Abner. D, to be fair, those aren't bad stats. But he won't be good enough. You just know it. I'm going to keep looking down. And we're just going to see if there's anyone. I mean anyone. And there wasn't anyone. So, we're going to move on. Done an hour. And they want six and a half million pounds. Not, no. Right, okay, we'll negotiate this. We've only got three million, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw it all on the line and see if they accept. And if they don't accept, then we don't need him. We'll go with someone else, someone better maybe. You never know. So we're just going to move on here. So we've got eight hours left now. So, oh, they want five million. And I'm not paying. I don't, I can't afford five million. Look, just look. I, I can't make that work so that's not going to happen and now if you notice that Oscar Vendit looks like he's going to move and we we might have to go back in for him to be fair because we need a left back and we're desperate and we've got no other options I think Vendit we're coming back so we put in the bid again of 3 million just like last time and this time we'll just offer higher wages and then hopefully we should have him in we'll have a left back and we can get this season started so, just moving on. Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me! You can't just up the price by 200 grand. Oh, that's that's pathetic. We got... So, we got all the way to contract with him with just 3 million, and now they've got 3.2. That's pathetic. Pathetic. Not good enough. So, you're putting the... So, we've actually gone ahead. I'm willing to pay the extra 200 grand... Just to sign him. And we need a left back. It's so important that we get a good one as well. Yo, come on. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, oh, that's severe, isn't it? And they're offered, what, 
Oh, God. I can't afford that. Oh, we're not even going to get a left back now. This is, like, totally not fair. We need someone because it's, like, seriously. We're near a left back. Let's just see what we've got. I mean, we've been looking around and there's just no one. There really isn't a left back that we could sign. And now, you know, we're coming into this and we're thinking, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So we'll look at some other options to see Oscar Van ended up at Hamburg. Again, these options are really unrealistic for a club like Queen's Park Rangers. Can't sign the likes of Alaba and Marcelo for QPR. And if we did, then we must be rich. You know, like, really rich, you know what I mean? Eh? Uh, so, okay, you know what? We're just going to look for every single left back in the Premier League because we just need something. So, Asu Okoto, nah. Not these, not really what I'm looking for. Clichy, too much money. And then just looking at Aaron Cresswell, no. And you're just looking down the list and then hoping that something will come up. So, hold on. Is that Massimo Hayadara? Now, he's pacey. Definitely put inquire about him. Just looking down. Moreno. Manasir left back. I didn't know that. Oh, oh let me see. Yeah. Oh, Brian Oviedo. I think that would be an option. He's, he's decent pace. And he's got a decent shot on him. Santon, Shaw, Neil Taylor, Van Arnold. You know, you know what? I think that we'll also go for Asu Okoto. And I know that I did originally say, nah, not going to happen. But I think I, I think this is important. And we can't get it wrong. We can't get the left back wrong. So we have to make sure that it's someone decent. So Hyadar is 3.5 million. Oviedo, 2.8 million. With 3 million for Asu Okoto. So we're just going to go in and we're going to put the 3 million bid in for Hyadara. But just in case that falls through, you know... We're going to also do Brian Oviedo because, you know, I think it's pretty important that you've got more than one option available when doing this. We have to get one in. Offer here from Stevenage for Donaldson so he can go, you know, another youngster we don't need. So, five hours left. And, hopefully, and yep, there they are, accepted. So, Nine grand, not much for Hayadara really, is and he's still only twenty one. Not in good form, but you know, I'm still confident he'll do the job. And then I'm just looking here, Oviedo. Bit old at twenty four, isn't he? But So I might I'm gonna do some research on these guys, I think, on Foothead. See what hap see what comes up, you know. So I've done the research on Foothead and I made the decision that they're not good enough. So I made a bid for Asu Okoto instead, who's rated 74, according to Foothead. Well, the other two are rated 69. And we just need some better than Traore, what Asu Okoto would be. So we're going to put the contract in there, and hopefully we'll just get him in, get a left-back sorted, and we can get on with this, you know, because we just don't need the hassle. It's been real hassle in this transfer window. I'll just clear out some of these emails. So two hours left. What are we going to come up with? Please tell me. Done. So Asu Okoto is the Queen's Park Rangers player, just like he was only the other year, actually. But we're not, so we're not signing Oviedo. We're just going to clarify that now. No Oviedo, no Hayadara. Sorry, guys, you're just not good enough. So we're starting to come to the end of the win of the window with an hour left. So let's have a look at who's left. Who's who can we? Who each club signed. Now, that will be going along the bottom of your, well, on your screen. Now, guys, thank you very much for joining us here on WBC Games. Now, QPR Career Mode Episode 5 will be coming soon. We've also got some foot, some Ultimate Team content coming out. Grand Theft Auto 5 and WWE 2K15 are coming soon as well. We're doing a 2K15 career mode and some online shenanigans on GTA. So thank you guys. If you enjoyed this, please remember to hit the like button. Got a comment? Let me know. Hit them down below and please subscribe if you've not subscribed already. So thank you very much guys and the transfer window is now over. So thank you very much guys. It's done.